Some families are calling on the government to change a law that allows women to abort unbo unborn babies with Down syndrome at any time up until their birth. They've written to the health secretary asking him to amend the 50-year-old Abortion Act to prevent terminations after 24 weeks for all non-fatal disabilities, including Down syndrome, where you're born with an extra chromosome. Heidi Hello. Crowter is 24. She's here with her mum, Liz. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, and Cheryl and David Billsborough are here with Hi. their son, Hector. Uh, they're being backed in their, came, in, in their campaign by actor Sally Phillips, whose son, Ollie, has Down syndrome. Uh, welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming on the programme. Let me ask you, Heidi, first of all, what do you think of the law at the moment? Well, I think it's um, because I am someone with a condition, I find it deeply offensive. Why? Because I, I am someone with, with, the, um, with, the, with the condition. Mm. And I would say that um, there is no, there's no the difference between um, a how does it make you feel that some people can have an abortion, can terminate an unborn pregnancy if that unborn baby has Down syndrome? Well, it makes me feel unloved and unwanted. And in the film Cats, there's um, a cat called Grizabella, and everyone hated, all the cats hated Grizabella, so it makes me feel like Grizabella. Mm. You're, and you obviously believe that your life is as valuable as somebody's life who doesn't have Down syndrome. It is. Yeah. I could just think memory. Cheryl, David, hello. Uh, and Hector. Say hi. Hi. Hi, hi. hi Hector. Hi, Gord. <laughs> um, what do you think of the law which allows a, a termination up to birth for an unborn baby with Down syndrome? I think it's downright discrimination. You know, it's it's not right at all. We think that at the end of the day, all babies, children, they should, everybody should be treated equal. Mm. I mean, look at Hector. Mm -hmm. And also Heidi. Yeah. Do you, know, yeah what, you know, there's no, no difference between any of us at the end of the day. Mm. We are all human. Mm. Liz, what do you want the Health Secretary to do? We would like the Health Secretary to, to look at the law in the light of um, 2020, rather than 50 years ago, um, and change the law so that all children, all babies in the womb are treated the same, so there's no, dis no discrimination in the womb. Mm. 24 weeks is the limit that the government has set for termination, and that should be for all babies in the womb, um, not up to birth. Right. And if that were to happen, as you know, that would limit some women's choices when it comes to how they want to live their lives. Yes, yes I understand that. And obviously, any termination is taken um, very seriously by any woman or any, any couple. And obviously, at the end of the day, that is their choice to do that. Um, but most um, disabilities will be found before 24 weeks. So if they were to make that decision, obviously a very hard decision for them, then ultimately that is their choice. I would hope that they would get support and up-to-date correct information about Down syndrome before they made the decision. Um, in terms of other disabilities um, where um, it's not found out till later in the pregnancy, mm. it is still an incredibly hard decision to make and I've met and heard about ladies, couples who've carried on with pregnancies where the baby has been incompatible with life or has a life limiting condition and they've chosen to carry on they have um, had maybe a few hours with their baby a few days a few weeks um, there's a lady uh, my friend met last week who was diagnosed with incompatible with life and the baby the child is eight years old so I would say to them, doctors are not always right. Mm. But the, 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 the effect of your campaigning would be to limit the choice of some women who want it, who, who perhaps, according to, for example, Antenatal Results and Choices, a charity, they say there are some severe conditions, particularly affecting fetal brain development, that are not detected until the third trimester. Yes, yeah, so, uh, as, um, so, yes, but some, some, that, that is true, definitely. But So in those cases, are you saying that a woman should 
give birth should be forced to give birth. Well, I think the, the late, late term abortion is so um, abhorrent. It's so, it's so um, that's not the right word, abhorrent is not the right word. Um, it's so horrible a thing to do. It's obviously um, terminating in pregnancy is hard it's pain for, for the, any woman. For the baby, it's a pain for the woman, isn't it? Yeah, it's pain for the mother and the baby. Um, as I said, doctors are sometimes wrong, mm. people, and, and also, the women who have given birth that I've heard speak, they have had those four weeks, whatever, with that child, they've been able to bond with that child, love that, that child. But that was their choice. That was their, that choice. Was their choice. And I'm suggesting, Cheryl, that the, if your campaigning is successful, it would take away some women's choices. Nah. Yeah, but we're not here about the choices, are we? We're here about the discrimination. That's what we're here about, mm. aren't we? We're here about, you know, treating everyone equal. That's, what we're, that's why we've come today. What happened with Hector in terms of your own pregnancy and how you were treated by medical professionals? Well, in I felt pressured um, to do what to terminate um, because, and also pressured to, to begin with to have a test, uh, which was just a blood test, mm. uh, as they call it, screening test. I felt pressured into having a test because I'm an older mum. And then once I'd had a test, uh, you know, I, I received a phone call, the worst phone call from hell, basically saying uh, that they were sorry. Uh, and using the wrong terminology, uh, me being high risk of uh, having a child with Down syndrome. Uh, and then also, you know, after that, I had a, I actually had a harmony test, which is an extra blood test, mm. which cost quite a bit of money, you know, which I could have spent that on something else. Um, and, you know, not that I was, would ever abort, that's my choice. Mm. Um, but also then being you know, treated differently um, with regards to uh, them all knowing that Hector had Down syndrome, well, I've got Down syndrome, uh, and even being offered termination at full term on the Friday and giving birth to him on the uh, on the Sunday. What was said to you? Um, the, she's turned around and said to me, uh, you do know uh, we still terminate babies with Down syndrome uh, at, t at 38 weeks. And what did you say? I said, well, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Mm because I was completely blown away, Hello. shocked and disgusted. Mm. And here he is, Hector, and you know, he is absolutely beautiful, aren't you? <laughs> yes, he's got a modelling career, oh. you know. You know. Yeah. He is, and so are you. Yeah. And you know, and he's got a lot of people that love him. Wave, Hector, give us a wave, if I blow us a kiss. Mm. He's got a great I fan, great, great fan club. Yeah. And, yeah. I'll be his fan. Oh. And you know, and it's like, and at the end of the day, it's, it's just, no difference whatsoever and nobody should be put into that category of being different because at the end mm. of the day we're in eh. 2020. Mm. Heidi can I ask you a question yeah, if yes. a, a, a woman a couple are watching now and they are pregnant and they have received the news that their child could have down syndrome what would you say to them? Um, I would say um, don't be scared and carry on with the pregnancy and also, I would also give the advice to meet someone with Down syndrome mm. and really get to know them mm. and really see that there's a person behind that group. Yeah. For example, when I first met James in music sick, one of the best years of my life. James oh. is your fiance, I hear. He is, he will, he is. When are you getting married? Yeah. When? Um, uh, um, in 18 weeks and five days. 18 weeks and five days? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here he is now, look beautiful. Oh, oh there he is. Wow. There he is, look at that. Wow. Oh, what a sexy. It's <laughs> 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 yes, well, always my David. <laughs> <laughs> wedding dress shopping. Wedding dress well, shopping. When I first met James, I actually um, was... Um, we made a good impression on me. He made it what? A very good impression on me. Oh, yes, he made a good oh. impression on us, yes. Yeah. He's a very He's a very handsome man. lad. Why did he make a good impression on you? Well, I, I, I wanted to know him because uh, my mum's um, cousin mm -hmm. is actually pastor at his church. Right. And, so, how, and then I met him. Tell me why. And then I realised that there was a person behind that grammar zone. Yeah. Tell me why you fell in love with him. Oh. <laughs> I fell in love with him at first kiss. <laughs> Did you? I mean, he's a very good kisser. So it took one, <laughs> literally one kiss? <laughs> yes. And lots of Facebook conversations. <laughs> and he paid for my meal. He paid for your meal. But I realised that I fell in love with my best friend. Oh. Oh. You're make me cry. <laughs> I'm going to be Mrs Carter. Yes, you are. <laughs> Please may I have a look at your engagement ring. Yeah, of course we have. Let's have a look, darling.
That he proved to be uh, the, the 13th of December. Oh, my God. And I do, I do have a video. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Hi, oh. Dave. That's the day we got married. 13th of December. The 30th. Yeah. Oh, I do apologise. Yeah. That was Eddie Golding's birthday. <laughs> Ellie Golding's birthday. There you go. Um, can you how he makes me feel? Say again. Can you hear how he makes me feel? Of course yeah. Um, he makes me feel um, the happiest guy in the world. Oh, that is wonderful. He makes me feel special and loved. Yeah. Well, thank and, you for talking about it. For example, when my brother was in hospital mm -hmm. with ill, he just gave me a big hug. Yeah. Well, congratulations, and I hope you have the most incredible wedding day. I'm sure you <laughs> will. I bet you will. I bet you will. Um, David, let's hear from you, finally. Um, you are backing this campaign. Why? Um, mainly on the discrimination part, because, you know, like we've already been said, you know, there's no difference between one human and another human. Um, you know, everybody should be given a chance and everyone should be treated, you know, equally, in, you know, and in this, you know, this age of diversity and, and everything else, we should be, we want that diversity in our society. Yeah. Uh, John emails to say, I'm a single dad of three. My youngest daughter has Down syndrome and is about to turn 10 in April. Wow. During, during the pregnancy, at every opportunity, the medical staff asked slash encouraged a termination of our unborn child. In the end, I had to lose my temper with them to finally stop asking us this. This campaign has my full support. Thank you. George says, I have twins, one of whom has Down syndrome. He's doing great, he has no other health issues, and he's keeping up with his twin sister. Excellent. My experience was very negative with healthcare when my wife was pregnant with twins, as if they wanted us to abort my son, yeah. who is a joy. Uh, Christina on Facebook says, so what? They have Down syndrome and come with challenges, but guess what? So does every single child. Mm. Children with Down syndrome are the most sweetest, loving children I know. And yes, exactly that's same, brilliant. And exactly the same emotions as anybody else. Of course. Um, so, yeah, you know, if Heidi's internet breaks down, she's definitely not a happy young lady with mm. Down syndrome. Hey. She's not happy all the time because she has the same emotions as any others. Yeah. She's loving because she's loved. Yeah. yeah My other true. children are loving because they are loved. Yeah. Yeah. Let me read this Department of Health statement. Uh, abortion is a matter of conscience and it is right that Parliament decided on a free vote when abortions can be performed under the 1967 Abortion Act. Any decision to terminate must rest on the judgment of the woman and her doctors. Only when two doctors both agree there is a risk a child will be born with a serious oh, abnormality can an abortion take place outside the 24-week limit. We will follow your campaign. Thank, Thank you so much for coming yeah. on the so programme. Um, Crowd Justice Fund. I've completely forgotten to bring the link with me, but it'd be on Facebook. Heidi's got a Facebook page, Heidi Crowder, Living the Dream. The um, Crowd Justice Fund is on there. And we've also got hashtag, I'm with Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back to do. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Have a good day. Stay happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheryl, yeah. David, Hector, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Stay and, happy. Uh, Heidi and Liz, thanks thank you very much. much. And have a fantastic wedding day, yeah? yeah I will. Send us some pics. Yeah. Oh, I will. I'll send us a pic of a kitten. Yeah, do. Can we show it on TV? Of course you can. the royal wedding. Thank you. Yeah. He is a very good kiss, by the way. Yeah, no, you've told me that already once. I heard you the first time. I'm looking. I'm second and third. I'm a good slugger. I like to put up with this all the time. I'm a good slugger. Thank you. Thank you very much. All of you.